I etched a prototype board for the uh, park frequency uh, generator and uh, the only thing I've added over my existing uh, frequency generator was a second push button here and uh, it's got the rotary encoder it's got the uh, single push, push button it's got the SI5351 and it's got the display the uh, uh, 20 by uh, 4 uh, display and uh, I'm running the existing software the same software that I'm running on my uh, frequency generator here I'm running it here however I had to make one small change uh, to the code uh, because it turns out these push buttons I, I got from China they're on and uh, when you push the button the connection is broken so the default is uh, there um, the the two wires are connected and when you push the button the two wires are disconnected so um, it's uh, push to break the uh, contact so I had to go and change my code here one line of my code to say uh, when it reads the button to say if the button's not connected i.e. it's pushed then you know do the processing and once I did that uh, everything seems to work um, there's the the initial I'm going to reset I've just pushed a reset button and it uh, resets and it comes up and uh, here you could change the mode you could do ready you know you could do your clock zero two etc so if we go back to clock zero and I've got my scope probe connected to clock zero to the clock zero trace and uh, let's go ahead and enable that so there it's on and it should be coming out with uh, 7.1 megahertz I go to my scope and let's adjust this and if you look at the frequency counter it's saying it's 7.1 megahertz so I'm gonna go ahead and I can adjust this to go up to say go up and adjust by 10 megahertz so let's go up to 27 megahertz and it looks a bit gnarly because obviously the probe is got a lot of capacitance not really terminated and there it's saying it's 27 megahertz and let's go up to say let's go up to let's go up to 97 megahertz and we come over here and it's saying it's seeing 97 megahertz so there you go so it looks like it's working with just a standard code and again I'm only seeing the two lines uh, because the original LCD I had here was a 16 by, f by 2 LCD this is a 20 by 4 so now what I need to do is go and extend change the menu to be able to use uh, the full range all 20 characters and all four lines but right now the code uh, is working um, just by um, installing it and just making that one change to account for the push buttons I got from China.